Welcome to episode 13 of Mary's Kitchen Table Chats. I'm Mary and from the blog Mary Organizes and I am excited to be doing this video tonight. It's been a little while since my last one. Um, my best excuse is I have four kids um, and I was gonna sneeze. Oh, I guess not. Sorry, did I just make your eyes water? Probably. Um, my one-year-old little guy is perfect in every way. Um, he keeps me on my toes. <laughs> the second he's awake, second he's sleeping, I am following him. He is, he can climb anything. He can, he, he can get into anything. He's just really smart, but totally adorable. And um, anyway, so that keeps me pretty busy. I, um, also have been pretty busy losing weight. I, I've lost 18 pounds at my first weigh-in and my second weigh-in is next week. I'm only weighing in once a month. Um, my thinking is I don't want to let the scale determine how I feel and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing for a lot longer. So why even know? I mean, cause it'll just mess with my mind. So just keep on keeping on. Um, but I am excited to know what the next number is. And I'm really excited because um, my jean size is already gone down two. And I can fit into jeans three size smaller. But they don't really look good yet. They just, a little bit tight. Like, that was melted and poured into them. So I'm not quite wearing those. But i um, excited that they can, <laughs> they can zip. It's the little things. Um... If I look a little bit more dressed up tonight, it's because I am. I don't normally, um, at 10 o'clock at night, have my hair still done and lipstick on. But tonight I was at a meeting. I gave a presentation on organizing um, to a group of moms that are um, in a local nonprofit group that mothers and multiples. I'm actually a member of that club. Um, and I love it. These are some of my best friends in Arkansas. And it was really fun. I give these kinds of presentations to lots of local nonprofit groups, but I have to say it's really fun to do it to people that you know. Um, Cause I can, I can be kind of relaxed and, and tell them the really embarrassing stories. Um, but sometimes, maybe, maybe one day I'll, maybe one day I'll tell you. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but um, I wanted to share, so this was the handout I gave them. Um, and I, I broke the presentation up into three groups. And I'm hoping, please comment and let me know if you'd be interested. I'm thinking in January I might, um, I might do a webinar and kind of go over some of these things with some of my readers. So um, let me know. But... Um, I broke it up into three different groups because I really, I only had like an hour to talk and I wanted to really impact a group of people, um, majority, well, they're all moms and they all have kids, um, mostly in elementary or before elementary age. So young, young. Um, I wanted to think of what could really impact that group of moms. So I focused on um, realistic cleaning schedules, you know, how to keep the home looking great and tidy. Um, when, especially when a lot of these people have twin babies, that can be kind of hectic. Um, and then I also talked about laundry. I love talking and writing about laundry. You guys, if you've been following very long, you know that about me. I love laundry because, not because I like love folding laundry and doing it, but it has become such a routine that it's like, it's just not a, not a bother. It's not a worry, it's not a stress. We always have clean clothes. I feel like I'm always caught up on laundry. Um, and it's just really simple ways. And if you go to the sidebar of the blog and search laundry, you'll see that I've written a lot, a lot about laundry. I just, I feel like it, it can be easier than a lot of people make it. And if we could just make it easy, that can be a huge thing that every family has to somehow figure out how they're gonna do. And that can be a big thing. 
made easy so that you have that kind of energy to deal with the rest of life. Um, and then the third thing I talked about was dealing with papers. If you've got kids, you've got papers um, piling somewhere. So just strategies for making, once again, simple, streamlined, how to take care of it. Um, but the one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about from that presentation, um, and I've written a blog post about this, but maybe some of you haven't seen it, is the weekly household management session. This, I feel like, is the crux of what makes me feel like my life is put together and things are organized and working smoothly. Um, and it keeps piles of paper from accumulating anywhere in my house. What it is, is um, once a week, I make an appointment with myself. I put it on the calendar. I don't plan other things during that time. I, it's a, I honor that appointment with myself as a commitment and I sit down and I go through my inbox and I look ahead to like birthdays and events coming up and make sure I'm prepared. Um, I, just, I have, go search the, in that search bar for change your life with weekly H period M period session. Um, with the weekly HM session. You could probably type part of that and still get it because um, I wrote all about it in that post, but that that appointment with myself, it keeps our lives just no big, no big surprises or stresses or dramas. Bills are paid, things are taken care of, phone calls are made. Um, and that's also when I take care of my inbox and the inbox, Having an inbox and using it like that is how I don't have any paper piles in my home because I can put paper in that inbox and I know once a week I'm gonna go through it and do what needs to be done with it. Um, the one touch rule, it's really not realistic um, for people like me who have multiple children and a busy life. A lot of times you pick up mail and you don't have time to do something with it right that second or your kids come home and they're all you know, handing you papers at the same time. You cannot deal with all that at the exact same time. So um, this method really works for me. I encourage you to go check that out. And this week I plan to announce the blog I've been working on, Mary Gets Healthy. And I'm gonna be talking more about um, what I've been doing to lose this weight and I'm feeling really good. That's all. So have a great night and um, hopefully the next one will be sooner than this. Take care.